Hello, everyone, and happy holidays. Well, we are, New Year is coming up, and guess what? We are all going to be obsessed about weight loss. That's the topic we wanted to bring today with Ankita Agniyahotri. She is joining me live from India, and she is a dietitian, and uh, we are just going to talk about what does it take to sustainable weight loss. <laughs> Welcome, Ankita. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to be here. And yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Thank you. So let's just understand, you know, what is the right way to lose the weight, right? We go on yo-yo diets and then, <laughs> right? and then we gain it right back. So that's what we really want to understand from you. True. So for me, you know, the definition of weight loss completely changed when I actually, you know, failed a, a lot of times and then learned from mistakes. Then, uh, you know, because uh, we have this tendency that we associate weight loss term with something like losing, always trying to cut down calories, always try to uh, cut down fat and everything. We are always focusing on cutting down on life when it is about weight loss. But if you will shift your focus from cutting down to gaining, gaining health, gaining good lifestyle, gaining good sleep, gaining good muscle mass, that particular thing when happens, weight loss is just a byproduct. And that is why I say that make your life more about gaining rather than focusing on losing. Because when you are always on losing, it, the life doesn't seem so great, right? And it is really not sustainable. And uh, especially when it comes to calories, because nowadays this new calories fund has started. Calories, I won't say it is, it is not uh, the right way to follow, but just saying that cal calorie deficit is the only way to weight loss is not a great idea, especially for a layman. Because he doesn't know that quality of food matters a lot. And they are just thinking, okay, I am eating pizza daily, but I'm in calorie deficit, so I will lose weight. But you are also losing your health. And that is uh, from where I'm coming. That for me, weight loss is more about health gain. Okay, so the, that, I think that makes sense. We get obsessed and we start starving ourselves, especially holidays and new year for the next two, three months. That's the process. So what is the right way, right? You talked about, you know, uh, eating the right food. What is it that you recommend and what, what is the mantra that you have? Okay, so when it comes to eating right, first thing is, as I said, focus on gaining. And by gaining, first thing which you need to gain for weight loss is gain nutrition. Because in the first place, you have lost, uh, so you have gained weight because of some kind of metabolic issues or hormonal issues. Because your hormones, your metabolism, your enzymes, they have been not uh, been able to work efficiently as they were, they should, they are supposed to do. And that happened because of your poor diet and poor lifestyle. So what we have to do to reverse the condition is bring the nutrition in the role. Because nutrition is the real part from where our body, our hormones, our enzymes flourish, right? So focus on eating right means eat food which is actually responsible to nourish your hormones. And when it comes to our hormones, most of it depends on protein, on fats, on micronutrients. And rather what we, uh, you know, in the modern world, what we are doing is having the carb dominant diet. I'm not saying that carbs are willing, but it is not balanced what we are eating. Right. And that is why we are deficient in nutrition. So that is why focusing on all the nutrients equally is very, very important. So that is about right nutrition. And the point which you highlighted about the holidays and these festivals, see there what uh, comes in picture is your relationship with your food. So even if you are enjoying it, enjoy it, eat your food respectfully, enjoy the dessert respectfully, don't eat out of greed and don't overindulge. When you are mindful and respect the food, it doesn't work like a poison for your body. But if you are eating out of greed and just, you know, overindulging, it works like poison. Okay. And then you have your own journey that you, would you like to share a little bit about your weight loss and health gain? Yeah, yeah, sure. Definitely. That is where I, you know, from where I came into this uh, industry, actually, because um, I myself have been a very, very obese kid and I had PCOD, which was like very severe at a particular time. And that was the time where I took things in my, in my own hands because uh, I tried different trainers and nutritionists, but I didn't get any permanent solution. I was always uh, asked to go on a yo-yo dieting and maybe heavy workouts and uh, hours of cardio. So that was not working for me. 
and that was the time when i realized that something needs to be fixed from the root right and that time i started working on my nutrition my lifestyle and trust me within a year or we can say two years in in total i did i lost more than 27 kgs and reversed pcod completely that's yeah. fascinating and and maybe can you share a little bit on your diet because i think it will help a lot of young girls out there who have who are struggling with pcod true true so yeah when it comes to pcod first thing is you know there are many uh, reasons behind pcod when it comes to like uh, inflammation your hormonal imbalances um, your gut issues so a lot of issues are there and to be very honest what thing very firstly clicked and worked for me was cutting out food groups which i thought or maybe i just you know research that these are the inflammatory group of foods or this is something which can uh, cause hindrance with my hormones or something like that and to be honest because i was working on my own i was not in a in a proper guidance so that was the time where i also did some hidden trials and like cutting out dairy cutting out gluten these things really helped a lot but now when after 2 3 years if i looked at food it's like very balanced to me now i i have understood with the process i have evolved with this relationship with the food that i know that what food is good for me up to which extent so if you are a beginner and if you are facing issues trust me moderation is not going to work in the start you need to reach at a stage where you are metabolically very flexible but to start your journey you need to rip the bandage off you need to cut out food like junk food and the food which you know is causing damage you need to eat right food and also it is very important to know that don't eat less rather eat right that is the way to heal your body so yeah no i think that makes sense can you share your um, uh, typical day what is it that you eat maybe i think that is the best way for us yeah. to understand yeah sure sure like if i really talk about today itself so generally i take uh, like in the morning for breakfast is generally uh, eggs and some veggies or maybe protein uh, smoothie whey protein and today morning i was running out of eggs so i just made some uh, upma rava upma i think indians will specially understand it so uh, rava upma and one glass of whey protein i had in the breakfast and then in lunch i made some um, moong dal that is a legume kind of legume i made the khichdi out of it and also with that i had some grilled 100 gram of uh, grilled chicken and some green beans so that was my lunch and for dinner because uh, i was working since morning so i just ordered uh, one plate of uh, paneer tikka and that is it that 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 is it about today and in between i always keep sipping 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 on my uh, coffee or maybe some uh, drink herbal drink something like that like for bed time i will go for chamomile tea so hydration is very important that's what i right so yeah. how And, and is it like just the water, or even you can also have some tea, different type of tea during throughout the whole day? You keep sipping. Yes, definitely. If it is something not too much of caffeine, like don't sip, don't uh, go crazy over coffee and tea. But if it if it is herbal and you know just boiling some seeds and maybe some ginger water, these things you can keep sipping on. Like just salt water, lemon water. These are okay. and okay. that is very important water is in any form which is you are comfortable with you should take water because hydration is the key sure so to wrap up this is a quick 10 minute session we are bringing so to wrap up what would be your final message to the viewers like you talked about eating right but what would be two or three tips that you would like to give first thing okay very very if very simple i would say from tomorrow if you want to start to uh, you know fixing your food first thing start prioritizing protein because that is where we do like a lot so protein should be a very very important part in all your main meals and cut out junk food because trust me it is not going to work for you and like being very blunt junk food is the more uh, far uh, you will stay the better it will be and just you know prioritize your sleep prioritize hydration just live happy and as I, as i said focus on gaining weight loss is just a by product when you focus on health gain do things to gain health not to lose weight even you are doing workout don't do it to burn calories and burn fat rather do it to gain stamina to gain muscle to gain endurance in these things 
Thank you so much. I think it makes sense, you know, and you have a success story within yourself and that motivated you to come into this industry. So that itself is a huge success to all the viewers. To every, yes, to everyone else. Um, to, you know, just listen to what Ankita is saying, focus on the gain part, not on the losing part. In, you know, we are all going into the new year and focusing on gaining your health, which is so important nowadays. With that, have a great week, great weekend, happy holidays, and keep supporting us because we are trying to bring you holistic medicine on a daily basis to help you lead a healthier life. Happy holidays and namaste, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.